This is Matrix Lord 212, and uh, it bothers me that, you know, the Doctor Who scripts were leaked by the BBC by accident, right? These sites that, that spoil the crap out of Doctor Who all the time with video footage and all kinds of stuff throughout the year, they don't get the scoop first, you know, and for some reason, other people get it. So all of a sudden, they're trying to preach to the choir, and oh my God, don't spoil anything, don't put anything out there, it's not cool, yet they're the first ones to spoil everything, which I don't understand. Um, and this is a continuing problem. This is a problem where even people who have done podcasts before and have wanted to be spoiled or had wanted to do shows and spoil it on their shows, all of a sudden they're coming out and like, oh my God, I don't want to be spoiled. I don't want to know anything. But if you look like a year ago, everybody's like doing podcasts like, oh, I can't wait to find out. I don't want to find out for anybody else. Even when the Series 7 finale was leaked and nobody got to see it, it was just amazing to me how, or even the 50th, we all wanted to see the 50th, we all wanted to see stuff ahead of time, and it was on podcasts. The podcasts, all different podcasts, all different Whovian podcasts, like the, well, not the Whovian podcasts, but like all different shows, basically all Whovians coming together talking about wanting to be spoiled, wanting spoilers. Now all of a sudden, it's like weird to me. It's just weird to me how people who wanted to be spoiled before, just don't want to be spoiled all of a sudden like they've never wanted to be spoiled. And then they're coming out and making podcasts about how, oh, don't spoil anything, don't, where they would be the first ones to spoil it. So the fault doesn't lie with the fans, okay? Now, I may have gotten the, the scripts to see the episodes, but I didn't send them out to everybody for them to see because I felt... Someone given them to me, and, and it wasn't my place to do that. So, you know, I, I didn't take long to think about it at all. I wanted to read it, and it's my choice. And I really, we, we did podcasts and stuff, but we really didn't, I don't think, say that it wasn't said already on the FD sites. But, you know, it just seems, I'm just, I was scratch my head like that. All of a sudden, it's like we get the nitpicking, and, the, and, and, and it, everybody's like, needs to take like chill out and take a chill pill everybody's acting like weird like people looking at my podcast and you know they're like saying oh you spoiled at this time when it was completely wrong it's like come on dude like really like you know if you don't want to watch it, you don't want to watch it but like it's just it's, it's just a joke i don't understand it and everybody's like oh you know something you know like people talk and they're saying how their hard work and everything's broken. Nothing's broken. First of all, why don't you go to your employers? Why don't you go to the BBC and say, hey, you're the cause and the effect. You're the reason that this happened in the past couple of years. So why don't you do something about it? But nobody has the cojones to do anything about it. Nobody has the balls to say that. So they just go and they're like, oh, the fans, they're ruining everything we worked on. That's bull crap. That's bull crap. Your employers, the BBC, have released everything. It's almost as if they want the show to be canceled like they did back in the day. Or maybe somebody secretly does want Doctor to be canceled and they're leaking everything. You ever think of that? But I want to see more of accountability and people like yelling at the BBC. Or if the fault lies with the production company, you know, the production team, then screaming at the fans. Because, you know, that's the last thing you want to do is fight with the fans. The fans who promote the crap out of your show to begin with. So, you know, I don't blame the fans at all. Because as far as I said yesterday, it was going on going all day. There was not any effort to stop it. So, like these scripts, you know, I'm sure people are going to be doing podcasts. And I'm sure that episodes 6 through 12 are going to be leaked. Because I have no faith in the security of the BBC. I don't, you know? And then I'm sure if somebody else gets the, the, the scripts, then they'll, all of a sudden the spoiler phobes will be spoiling the crap out of it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the whole point I'm trying to make here. Like, guys, just be yourself, okay? And, and don't try to be something you're not. Don't try to make it like you're holier than now and 
oh my god, it's not right. I mean, when you've done it before, like, we all love doing podcasts and Doctor Who. We all love speculating. We all love getting spoilers. But don't all of a sudden, you know, if you're a Mr. Spoiler, don't freaking go around saying, oh, we can't spoil no more. That's like, we're stupid. And it makes people look like idiots. You know, if they've ever been on any shows to try to get spoiled, to all of a sudden take that holier-than-thou attitude. So I'm just remaining the same person I always was. I'd, I'm not a jerk, and I'm not going to do anything to ruin the show, but we're going to talk about it, we're going to speculate, and we're going to have fun with people all over the world on the Rehuvian's cast. So, you know, I'm just saying, like, everybody needs to, like, really stop being a bunch of, like, you know, picking and, and, and trying to be, like, a directors and stuff on other people's shows. It's just absolutely absurd. So... As I'm walking, I'm talking about this. All right, guys, take care. Bye for now.